after these times it took me a while actually to make a video because it I was also processing it myself hey guys it's currently day 14 na ng community quarantine here in my province and as you can see Ang haba na ng balbas ko and yeah, mess, sorry, mess yung room ko. But uh, basically, what we're gonna do today, I'm gonna show you guys lang. I don't know if I documented pa yung ibang days, but since day 14 na, I just wanted to show you guys the situation here sa province. Because I'm currently here in Takarong City, here in Sultan Kudarat, and alam niyo naman na magkakaiba talaga yung mga situation. Each region dito sa Philippines. After nito, I'm going to get some. I just got out of the shower and I'm gonna show you guys in this video I'm just gonna show you guys kung ano ba ko in my daily routine during the life here in quarantine so yeah and papakita ko na lang din ko anong situation sa labas kasi I'm going to get um, coffee sa bahay nila Wendy and I'm going to save more and mag grocery kami kasi naubusan ako ng ulam dito and yeah and if you're wondering, but ako lang magisa dito. Uh, my family, magkaiba kami ng bayan ng family ko na dun sila sa bahay talaga namin and dito sa room to dito sa business namin and dito talaga ako nakatira kasi so medyo magulo dito ang setup and yeah. I'll see you guys later. And guys, since quarantine ngayon, uh, sorry, since quarantine ngayon, I need to bring these essentials para hindi ako si tayong sa labas. I need to bring my face mask kasi hindi naman siya airborne pero mahirap na if I touch my face when I'm outside kasi ako I really know na I really touch my face a few times a day and ayan yung minsan ano lang sa muka and then alcohol and then my quarantine pass see you guys later Going to Wendy's house. Alam ko ang quarantine yan, but they have an espresso machine sa bahay nila. So I'm going to go there and get my coffee and then sabay na kami ng grocery because wala na rin silang ulamin or stock sa bahay. So, pwede ba yung nawakan ko na naman yung mga? Always keep yourself clean during these times. <laughs> Actually, since day 14 naman na, and I'm not showing any symptoms, I'm actually medyo safe na and hindi na ako masyadong worried, but yeah. So, mahiram na lang talaga. Dapat naging safe lang na yun. I'll show you guys yung situation na lang din dito sa province namin. If you can see. Look there, yan yung tricycle ng barangay namin. And para mas madaling maka travel yung mga frontliners namin dito. They sent out yung mga ganyan, barangay na tricycle. And yun yung ginapag ginapagamit sa kanilang libreng sakay. And yan dito sa downtown area, wala na talagang tao masyado. Unlike before, na punong puno ng tricycle, may mga sasakyan, may mga trabaho lahat. Ngayon, wala talagang trabaho lahat. Ayan pa ang mga tricycle ng barangay namin. Ito yung round ball. Ang init sa labas. I only go out actually pag umuwi ako sa amin. Sa bahay. Or may bibili na ako ang snacks or gamot or ano pa. Grocery. Yung mga ulam namin. Nauubusan ako ng ulam. Mga dilata. Ngayon, wala na naman akong ulam, so lalabas na naman ako. And, yung minsan, fast food lang din naman ang kinakain. So, ayun. So, wala akong going to Wendy's. Malapit ako sa mga So, usually, dito na area, ito talaga yung mga busiest parts. Kasi ito yung eskwelahan. Ito yung, dito yung business na Wendy. Nandito yung mga busy area talaga. So, ngayon, wala pa isa-isa yung kotse, bakante, this is the situation here in Akorong City. 
here to get my coffee. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's day. What day na mga yun? Day 14 of uh, enhanced community quarantine. Where are you Welcome to Takorong uh, ECG edition. What are you doing? I'm going to go to the house. Okay guys, so we're going after one hour to go to the same place. We're going 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 to go to the same we just bought it for the family of Wendy and then she went to the house and then I'm going to prepare some food I'm going to try to make kimchi fried rice and I just saw the recipe on the internet so yeah actually in this time, now I'm really going to get out because there are a lot of people and I'm fond of watching yung mga cooking recipes na videos ngayon sa TikTok tsaka sa Twitter dami ko nakikita so yeah and uh, finally have time to try it for myself pero lahat actually nang niluluto ko puro mga easy to make lang tsaka usually yung mga ginagawa ko talaga pang breakfast lang so hindi na lang pinakuha So, wala akong choice. So, wala. Tapos na talaga errands namin. Ay, binili na lang kami and then bumi na kami. And, bukas siguro pag hindi ako tama rin, I'm gonna make a video about how to make dalgona ko. Kasi, super grabe. Sobrang tempting talaga ng dalgona ko. Feel lately. And, sa first week pa lang ng quarantine, super ang daming nag-IG stories or IGTV and vlogs. And yeah, I just wanted to share it to you guys because ilang araw ko siyang tinay e achieve and nung gumamit ako ng mixer dun ang talaga siya na achieve. So I'll show you guys tomorrow. Alright guys, so dito na ako sa bahay and eto, dito yung bahay namin and yeah, park ko lang sa dalit. And usually ang nangyayari is everyday I go here, minsan ang work at ako mas early but mo tinatawad na ako. I go here, we eat dinner, tapos to 7 p.m. yung curfew dito, so I go back at almost 7, kasi malapit ang naman yung woodland dito, so yeah, that's what I do. Mga three blocks away or two blocks away lang naman yung woodland dito, so I go here, I eat, I work out. Minsan umaga pa lang dito ako para dito na ako magspend ng day and then uwi na lang dun. Pag pauwi na after dinner. Okay, guys, so hindi na tuloy yung kimchi fried rice ko, and I'm here. Going home na dun sa Woodland. It's almost 6. It's almost 7 p.m. and 7 ano na? 7 6:20 p.m. So yeah, we gotta go there. So ito yung situation, guys. Pag gabi, so parang walang tao talaga. Nandilim pa dito sa amin. Sobrang lapit lang naman yung listayan ko. Dito lang siya. Wait. And lahat talaga ng mga businesses dito halos lahat closed. At yung sa amin na restaurant, closed siya. Ayan, dito na. Dito. Ayan, closed talaga yung buong. Please, pati yung hotel sa amin sa likod, close 
talaga. Wait. Hey na nga guys, I just got home from my parents' house and I just wanted to share to you guys a few things kasi I know uh, during these times, it took me a while actually to make a video kasi it, I was also processing it myself. Uh, I know it's kind of uh, selfish na isipin na oh, I can't go out na, I can't uh, I can't see my friends, I can't go out drinking, I can't go to places, and daming, for sure and daming taong uh, nag-cancel ng trips nila and vacation nila during the summer kasi the whole month na nag-community enhanced community lockdown but to think of it uh, medyo mababaw lang din naman ng mga reasons yun and we should be sensitive enough kasi alam naman natin na there are people that are, does not have the same option as although important din naman to stay at home but uh, meron talaga mga tao hindi may iwasan na lumabas kasi livelihood nila it just goes by every single day and isang kahig isang tuka lang na so not a lot of people can sustain yung mag stay at home so for sure sila din naman wala din silang choice but to go out and to work for food to feed their family so I also can't help but worry yung mga businesses uh, kami nga na sa family business ko nag worry kasi uh, also, yung employees namin affected them, so we had to give them cash advances. Binigay na namin yung sweldo nila. Uh, we gave them stocks, kasi this time we know na mahirap talaga mag-sustain for a few days na walang work and no work, no pay. And kami na naman wala din man kaming income during these times, so we feel I feel for the people na wala din choice but to work for food. So ayun na. It doesn't mean that we are on community quarantine. Uh, we should just sleep at home, makahilata na lang. Plus, I'm not the kind of person that does that. Type of person na on the go always. And palaging my work, mga ganun. It took me a while to process everything kasi hirap to stay at home. Parang ang hirap to cancel everything. Parang it feels like a dream na parang it feels like a nightmare rather na parang is this real life parang hindi ako makapaniwala na ganito na yung totoong mundo and yeah we just really have to face it and take this time to be more productive sayang yung oras wala tayong sasayangin na oras and i just try to make everyday productive may mga days naman talaga natatama rin tayo yun na nga you get my point guys na we should really take this time to be with our families and to um, sulitin yung time to learn new things, to learn a new instrument, to cook, and to spend time with our families. I know a lot of people na hindi na sabay-sabay kumain sa bahay, pero ngayon they had the chance. And yeah, I just wanted to share to you guys a few things lang that I noticed during this community quarantine and I hope you guys like this video. I'm gonna share a few links of the donation drives that are happening right now and para maka-help din kayo sa community nyo. That's all guys. I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!